Hey everybody, welcome back to Spearfall. Yes, uh, sorry about last time. Uh, my throat is feeling a little bit better this time, so we will have a little bit of commentary. Last time we were able to uh, complete the run with the Link Blades, and now we have three more Blight Roots remaining. You can do this Om Omen Forge. And last time we unlocked the mask for Celesh. Uh, let's go ahead and continue the trend. I have five, five of these stones. I think we, we already got Sharbra, but surviving a killing blow is really good. So I'm going to have to get the second win. Alright, and then let's see. Uh, we're going to do a throwback video today. I know that, uh, well, I don't know why I talked to him. I have no scrolls. I know we said last time we were going to unlock a new weapon, which we will, but I'm going to do a throwback episode and go back with the hammer. I'm going to save the Equinox for a later video, because now that I'm kind of getting used to the game, I feel like I did not give the, uh, the hammer axe a fair shot. You know, I, I haven't been really up on this weapon, but we will go ahead and give this another try now that I understand the game a little bit more. So this neutral, I think it's not horrible because uh, you don't move your character it's a standing shot so if you gotta avoid projectiles but you, you have a little bit of a uh, window to attack you can just do the neutral the side I think it's okay it's a little slow but I think the hammer is gonna be a single strike weapon you use the launcher to do like a single strike and it's like a hit and run tactic you hit it they go or you do a juggle so we're just going to go ahead and give this weapon another shot and we'll go ahead and go with the Sharbara mask. That way we can get a little bit more survivability once we take some hits. And let's see, you know what, I am going to turn all these off. We're not going to use any of these until we beat all the runs, or until we beat the run with every single weapon. The hammer being like a hidden realm weapon, I think it's just very important to pay attention to the enemy attacks. Uh, of course, it is very important to pay attention to that no matter what weapon you're using. But I think for the hammer, since you're not really comboing too much, it, you really want to make sure that you can dodge out of the way at the right time. Now, the only really good combo I feel like the battle hammer has is that up air. I think I said that in the first couple of videos. And you know, this will be really good with uh, Celesh Mask. It gives you a little another air jump, which is nice. And okay, so if you haven't seen last time, I was not taking both of these rewards. You can take a reward, do a dash, and take the other reward really quickly. But I did do a little bit of research and I found out that what happens is if you do that, you increase the likelihood of elite enemies, so it makes your run more difficult. But then also you can only do that up to three times and then uh, you don't get those rewards anymore from that statue. So we're gonna go ahead and just like avoid doing that. We're not gonna make the run harder. I'm okay not getting so many rewards right away. After all, you know, when you're still learning the game, you just wanna make it as easy as possible to get that confidence boost and to progress throughout the story. Looks like we're going to go with some Celesh action here. I wanted to get the, um, the double jump, an extra jump, that way I could do the combo a little bit better, but we'll go ahead and try to do the aerial with a dash, that way it allows me to save that jump later. So we'll do the up air, dash, up air. So that's a little quick tip for this weapon. So I haven't been feeling well, but I'm feeling a little bit better. It's good enough to do a commentary for you guys. How are you guys all doing? Now 
Now one thing I did find out with the hammer is it does have a nice uh, meteor, but it's kind of hard to pull off. You've got to do an aerial down launcher, and that could knock them down pretty nicely if they're over the edge. Not too fond of this uh, Sharbara dash. I know it says like you can destroy projectiles, but like when you dash normally, you're already invincible to projectiles. So I'm not sure how helpful that is. Also, I don't. It doesn't look like it uh, flinches the enemy very much. Oh, uh, this is unfortunate. So I'm gonna have to face that doggy. Uh, this could be a bad run guys because that is a tough enemy to face. You want to avoid it as uh, much as you can. Looks like we will not be able to do it this run. The one good thing I with this weapon is it does, the launcher does have a lot of knockback, especially to get a perfect. So a lot of times you can just wait for the enemy to come to you and get him with a perfect launcher to knock him out. You could try going for the uh, up aerial. A little hard to get, and you're also in danger of getting knocked out yourself. So you gotta be careful with that. Go with the launcher. Maybe we could get some synergy between Celeste and Kalamin. Here's the extra air jump I wanted. Alright, so this guy's really tough. Uh, I think we're gonna take our time and just try to avoid most of his attacks. He has a lot of attack where he has armor, so you can't stun him. You gotta watch him for that one. Be patient, make sure to try to avoid as much of these attacks as possible. Okay, Whew, didn't lose too much life. We get some heal in the next room, and we got lots of dust for that. We gotta upgrade for all of our skills. Builder took me in when no one else would. I trained him for years. Can handle the blight. I owe everything to them. I'll protect them from you, no matter the cost. That's a pretty quick shield regain there.
remember when this boss used to give me so much trouble, but after getting used to her attacks, you know when to dodge, and once she runs out of armor, you want to try to juggle her as much as you can. Now, I want to save my essences for the major ones, so when you hit an enemy with a perfect launcher, it receives 50% more damage for 5 seconds, and then when you slay enemies with your launcher, recover some HP, which is nice. So, I, my recommendation is just go for the major enchantments as uh, often as you can. Now, I do want to get some H I want the relic, but I also want the HP, and if I go up and then to the right, I get 2 HPs, so we'll do that. I like to get my HP around 300-ish or so. Now Calvin's assist looks pretty cool, but I feel like it's kind of hard to actually use and hit enemies with it. Alright, so we gotta go through that hidden rift. Oh, okay. Well, the Kalamin at least has a really nice uh, meteor. I think you just gotta space it correctly to get that meteor. jump really helps with the up aerial. Hmm. I'm noticing that even though I get that extra jump, uh, the, the fire wings that come out could like mess up your knockback. Like if you knock them down with a meteor, but then like you jump right away, it, it cancels that knockout. So you may want to dash after doing that. Get a little bit more attack upgrade here. And we're going to go straight up because we want to hit to that shop. This, this weapon's not horrible, but definitely not as good as the bow. It really lacks the range. I will say the strength on this weapon though would be the knockback. That's pretty much like one of the only things it has going for it. The essence uh, blessing was okay, but you know, at least in the current, like in the beginning, uh, if you don't have any upgrades for the essence, it's kind of pointless to have too much of those, because once you get past the snow area, you don't use the essence for anything. But there is a spirit blessing where it'll increase your damage once you have a lot of essences. Now this is kind of good, and I don't have any relics, so I could trigger this a few times. I haven't really looked at is the damage of all the weapons. So the, the battle hammer could have that going, because it does seem like even though I don't get a lot of combo potential, this may do a lot of damage just like from the single hits. Maybe more so than all the other weapons, but I haven't really done any comparison. But like 55 just from the side aerial. I 
want to get some more crit damage going if I can't find some crit blessings. I know Constellation is a pretty important blessing for a lot of the synergies. I know the battle runes, you can use it to upgrade your weapons, but we will focus that a little bit more once we have all of our weapons completing a run. I'm only missing a little bit of health, I'll save my dust for the next area. this fight uh, if you're having a hard time with those arrows that come down uh, I'll show you that there is a dead spot if you just go all the way to the edge you don't get hit by the arrows although you gotta watch out for the spear guy yeah, I'll show you right there I'll just stand here and you just don't get hit by the arrows and that works on both sides of the screen so quick tip if you're having a hard time with the archer guy just make sure you dash through once he shoot you from the edge of the screw there. nice knockback but not only that it does have a good swing range so you can hit like multiple enemies at a time okay we won't so I sometimes I do see three major enchantments but that's a little rare but we only have four instances so only two that's good enough for me I don't really like this one, the down air uh, is kind of nice, but I don't find myself up in the high up in the air often enough to like come down and make use of it. Holding that has to charge your neutral attack for up to 100 damage. Oh, I see. Okay, so we got improved neutral. I've never tried this before. Let's give it a shot. And I'm just going to take this just because it's uh, a major enchantment. Ah, well. I'm not sure, I don't really use the neutral either, so 
not sure how well this is gonna be, and it takes a long time to charge. I'll give it a good shot though, we'll try to use this neutral more often than not. But really, the, like, the kind of skills I like, I like to like be on the move, I like to dodge, do a wide swing, and just like avoid attacks, because the enemy's attacks can come in pretty quick in this game. chain them to the wall. Kind of like how we have the link place, they up attack. You can just like stand air wall, up attack them like endlessly. I wonder if a neutral on the hammer would be like the same thing. Oh, I was hoping there was a hidden rift here, but let's see. Mm, I don't... Do I have it? I have about 300 life, so that could be good enough. If I go this way, I can hit up that harmony. this guy for last like while he's on the platform he can't really hurt you I'm not sure if this neutral enchantment is worth it or not could go to a shop, attempt to get a blessing, or I can increase the max HP. I can actually do both. I don't think I'd use this enough. We'll get this one just to unlock the codex for it. Okay, so we'll do the hidden riff and then we'll do the harmony shrine. I thought the stump just uh, dropped those rocks on top of me. I didn't actually think it uh, can hurt me. Ouch. I was gonna drop quick, quickly enough. Oh, that was a lot of damage.
tougher than I anticipated. This guy is usually pretty easy. Just got to make sure you avoid the stomps, avoid the lasers, and you're good. I think, yeah, let's get a relic. We don't have any relics, and we get a little bit of health regen with it as well. Yeah, looks like I could just stand the corner and neutral. Even if I stand the corner in neutral, I don't think the charge one is going to help out very much. Okay, nice. So a little bit more H, uh, attack every time I have some, a lot of dust. Every 100 dust I get, what, 5% was it? Relic right here, it's just gonna be for that launcher damage. The early expeditions unlocking the secrets of these barrels, the old four, everything has led us to this point. Destroying the blight is impossible, but if we harness it, we can seize control of our destiny. This is your final warning. I think uh, this guy with the hammer may be a little tougher because the, the hammer lacks the range, so gotta take care in avoiding the. Uh, all the various projectiles that he'll throw at you. And a lot of his attacks he has armor, but once he does, runs out, you want to try to juggle him as much as you can. like maybe around 80% HP he summons this uh, giant skeleton That's the hardest attack to avoid, the uh, wave from behind, that dark wave, because I got my focus on the warlock most of the time and I don't usually don't see what comes behind me. A little harder than I needed to be, but hopefully I'll get uh, be better at avoiding his attacks in the future. All right, so we got to the frosted. This is the last time I'm gonna see this. Uh, was it the spirit keeper? 
So I'm gonna go ahead and fill out all of my enchantment slots. Perfect launcher creates a ranged projectile. Okay, nice. You fall slower while charging your launcher in the air. Okay. And the last one we'll get. I think we'll do the launcher damage. I've been using a lot of it. I think the launcher is better than the attack for this weapon. I do have a lot of HP. I don't really care about the other two. I mean, we'll just get a little bit more HP. A little bit more survivability can never hurt. So I, I think the two best uh, spears for this weapon is going to be uh, Sharbara for like extra survivability and HP and defense. Because the weakness of this weapon is that it doesn't have a lot of range, so you always gotta get close up to your enemies and you put yourself in danger by doing so. And then um, also, if you can't get Sharbra, then go for uh, Zalboon with the dodge. The extra dodge chance will help you a little bit better with survivability as well. So, I think if I was playing like on my own and not like worry too much about the difficulty, I will start grabbing these at this point. I was just going to go with one. I'm going to hit up Sharbara and then get that relic. Right there you can see that the lack of range is going to make those air enemies a lot harder to get to. Go for our second relic here. I don't know, you can kind of get that stun lock near the wall with this weapon, but not as good as the chain links. Maybe I just don't have the right distance. Or I'm attacking too quick. Maybe I should like let them fall a little bit more before I do the second swing. Ooh, I don't really want this. All damage you take or deal with 3% higher. I don't think I want to take this one because I can I can hold to destroy it. But I'm not going to need the essence for anything so it's kind of a waste. But I don't want to be taking 30% more damage. We only got one shop left and I think I have enough dust. We'll go for the HP. And then maybe hit up Sharbara. I, ha I hate these little boulder enemies. You gotta really watch them. They they come down pretty quick.
Those enemies are really annoying. Uh, let me know if, how you guys deal with them. With this uh, hammer weapon. Like, for me it just seems really hard to get enough range to deal with them. There's a hidden riff straight above me, so we'll skip the Sharper this time and go for that hidden rift. I know I said 300 HP, but I'm I'm really glad with all like all these enemies in the fourth area. I'm really glad I got 400. That may be the new uh, base that I shoot for. Because with 400, I feel pretty safe, and with all the healing items in this game being percentage based, like that's gonna give you a lot. Your heals a lot better mileage. the hidden rift here. See, if I went to get Sharpera, there's no path to the hidden rift, so I don't think I will be able to get it. Or maybe I can, I don't know. Because technically there's no path to it, but I feel like you gotta be either... I don't know. I just feel like you gotta be like directly below or something in order to get Because sometimes I don't see the hidden rift in certain areas. Guys, we got a synergy here. When you apply a luminous gem to a blessing, the blessing's rarity also increases. Ah, this is like good at when you're starting out in a run. When, when you get too late, like right now, I'm not gonna be able to get too many gems. I can only get one, so could go with deep ren instead. Wounded non-boss enemy immediately lose a portion of the health when taking critical damage. Ah. Yeah, I, I don't think I can go with a Diamond Dust. It's just too late. Too late right now. You deal bonus damage when striking undamaged enemies. We'll go with the cooldown speed. Problem with the undamaged enemy attack is just that it's only one hit. And for bosses, like, okay, after the first hit, you don't get any more you know, bonuses. Whereas the cooldown, I'll constantly get that throughout the whole fight. I, I really gotta get better at these porcupine enemies.
I want a healing upgrade if I can get a healing upgrade. We need... uh, we'll just take a little bit more survivability. Oh, I'm at full health. Why didn't you help us? And to review yourself now after all of this, pulling the strings of some puppet. I will hold a line. This time I will not hold her. Ah! Looks like when he does a dive attack, if you stay in the corner, you don't get hit by it. Three in a row? If you're having a hard time with the dive attack, if you just stay in the corner, you don't get hit by that. But I mainly just try to dash when he comes down. And the burn got him. I don't know about you guys, but the brink is like one of my favorite areas because uh, they have the edge where you can just like smash them into the edge. It just reminds me of like Smash Brothers so much. It's just so satisfying if you just like knock them in the edge without having to worry about their HP. It's just so satisfying, guys. Just try not to do it to yourself, although I don't- I didn't really take damage from that. I think maybe because I slayed all the enemy in the room.
don't definitely don't do that to yourself. Whoa, what was that? They like bunny hopping. these armor guys. The armor guys are like a pain to deal with. They just like, you get Scott watch the projectiles, they just like shoot so many of that. of it right yep so I don't have too much I definitely want the heals and I could get one blessing we'll go with Zabu and see if we get some dodge chance I'll go to base dodge that way I don't want to have to worry about dashing because with some dashing I'm already kind of dodging anyways so I think the base dodge is gonna help me a lot more <laughs> I imagine this fight will be pretty tough because she throws a lot of projectiles at you and it's kind of hard to get close to her. I think the, what, in order to take advantage of the hammer, you're going to have to try and knock her out off the screen. Gotta not do that. Okay, I was just testing that to see if I'll land on the edge on this swipe down. I did not know that the splash hits you. I thought it was just the projectiles that came afterwards. Okay, it's noted, gotta watch out for that as well. I'm gonna smash her down. I think she takes a decent amount of damage if you knock her off screen. Get her with the full, fully charged, perfect launcher. Yeah, I think a per an up perfect launcher will definitely knock her out.
Yeah, I think that's the way to do it with this weapon. Soon, this vessel will be consumed. The flaws in your plan become apparent. You are only making us stronger. When all of you are gone, only we will remain. And that will do it, guys. We went ahead and beaten this run with the hammer. We only got one relic, but I think we've learned a lot with the hammer axe. And now we only have two more blights left. We gotta beat the uh, beat the game with the sisterhood fists. And there's the last weapon. I think it's the scythe. I don't think you guys have seen that yet, but I think. For the next video we will unlock that and i'll show you off that weapon but until next time guys we only have two blight roots left and i'll see you guys next time